Hey guys, this is Peter Steves here with a new Let's Play series, and today I'm going to be playing Phoenix Wright, suggested by Utopian Warrior One, and I'll leave a link to whatever he really wants me to express himself by, or I just don't leave a link at all. So no, wrong button. Okay, apparently I shall unpause this, and we shall go. It's made by Capcom, so apparently it's made by Capcom. New game. Okay, new game. First turnabout. Let's confirm. Because apparently there's nothing else but the first turnabout. Okay. Episode one, the first turnabout. Okay, there's red blood everywhere. Okay. It's the murder weapon. Could be. She's dead. Damn it. Why me? Well, I don't know why you I can't get caught. Not like this. I gotta find someone to pin this on. Someone like him. Mwahahahaha. I'll make it look like he did it. What's evil? So I start out on the evil thing. August 3rd. 47 AM. Just in court. Defendant lobby number 2. Boy, am I nervous. Right? Oh, hi, sheep. Well. I'm glad to meet you here. Well, I have to say, Phoenix, I'm impressed. I'm not good with the voice thing, so I might as well not do the voice thing. Let everyone take on a murder trial right off the ballot. Well, apparently I do, and I should be loving this thing. The effects. What should I do? I should remove, remove the effects because I think my sound is going hard. Let's no. Down, uh, animation, no. Play region, no. Okay. Do a special clip under sound, no. Oh no. So apparently, if I sound a little loud, this is totally not. Could be my fault. No, I'm moving down with that. No. Here we go, here we go. Okay. Right, everyone takes on a murder trial like this. The bat, like this. There's a lot about you and your clients as well. Um, thank you. Actually, it's because I owe you a favor. A favor? You mean you knew the dependent before this case? Yes. Actually, I kind of owe you an attorney job right now. He's a reason why I became an attorney. Well, that's news to me. I want to help you out. But what can I? I just really want to help him. I owe him that much. It's over. My life. Everything. It's all over. Is that your client screaming over there? Yeah, that's him. Death, despair. Oh, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna die. It sounds like he wants to die. Um, new side? Nick? Hey. Hello, Larry. Dude, I'm so guilty. Tell me I'm guilty. Give me a death sentence. I'm afraid to die. What? What's wrong, Larry? Oh, it's all over. I, I'm finished. I can do it. I. I can't live in the world without her. I can't. Come on. Who took her from Nick? Who did this? Uh, Nick, you gotta help me. Who took my baby away from me? The person responsible for your girlfriend's death. The newspapers say it was you. But it's not you. For some reason, my name is Phoenix, right? Here's his story. The first case is a fairly simple one. A young woman was killed in her apartment. The guy who arrested was an unlucky stop dating her. Larry Butts. My, my, my best friend since grade school. Gotta move the like front. There we go. Larry Butts. Her school was a head thing. When something smells, it's usually the butts. In the 23 years I've known him, it's been true. Once I had a knack of getting him into trouble. One thing I can say though, he's usually not his fault. He's just a terrible luck person. But I know better than anyone that he's a good person. That, that and I owe him one. That's why I took the case to clear his name. That's just what I'm gonna do. So much words I have to read on screen because apparently this game has so much words. Okay, the first case. Is people running their heads. The court is now in session. The trial of Mr. Larry Buzz. The, the prosecution is, is ready, Your Honor. The, the um 
defendant is ready, your honor. Uh, um, the right is in your first trial, is it not? Y y yes, your honor, I'm a, a, a little nervous. Your petition during this trial is that your fate. Murder is a serious charge for your client's sake. I hope you control your nerves. Uh, thank, thank you, your honor. Mr. Wright, given the circumstances, I think you should have a test to act as a reading. Yes, you are. Go. Uh, and, 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 test will permit a few simple questions. Is it clearly and concise? Please take the name of the defendant in this case. So that your hands are not in their own lines. Defendant, well, that's, that's Larry Buzz, your honor. Correct. Just keep your words about you and you'll do fine. Next question. This is the murder trial. Tell me what's the victim's name, um, Q. And this one, glad I've read the case report over the cover many times. It's, uh, wait. Uh oh. No, no way. I, I forgot. I'm trying to draw a blank here. Phoenix, are you absolutely sure you're up to this? I don't even know the victim's name. Oh, the victim. Of, of course I know the victim's name. I, uh, forgot, uh, temporarily. I think I feel a migrant coming on. Look, the defendant's name is listed on the court records. Just touch the court where uh, I should probably mention it. Just touch the court records button to check any time. Records. Sydney. That's autopsy. I can't that's her profile. Mary Buzz. Sydney Stone, the victim. Well, Sydney Stone's the victim, and Whitney is the prosecutor. So, Sydney and then Whitney. Okay, got one. Remember to check it often. Do it for me, please. Let's hear your answer. Who is the victim in the case? Cindy Stone. Um, the victim's name is Cindy Stone. Correct. Now tell me, what is the cause of death? She died because she was... Hit with a blunt object. He was struck once with a blunt object. Correct. Your answer is all my questions. I see I have no reason. You shouldn't proceed. You need more relaxing. Is that right? Good for you. Thank you, Your Honor. Because I don't feel relaxed. That, that's for sure. Well then. First, a question from the prosecution. Mr. Pay. Yes, Your Honor. As Wright just told us, the victim was struck with a blunt object. He explained in the court what the object I wonder what it is that you think of it. It's found laying on the floor. This is the victim. I see. The court accepts your evidence. That you edit the court record. Right. Be sure to pay attention to any evidence during this trial. The evidence is the only accusation you have on court. Test the court record button to check the court records frequently. Okay, let's do it. Mr. Pay, the prosecution may call this first witness. The prosecution calls the defendant, Mr. Buzz, to the stand. Uh, Chief. What do I do now? Pay attention. You don't want to miss any information on the client's case. You'll get your chance to respond to the prosecution later, so be ready. Let's hope he doesn't say anything unfortunate. Uh-oh. Let me get to the next um, Easily. This could be bad. Okay, so we're trying to not let him get exiled. Uh oh. Mr. Bez, is it true? If it has with me, dumb for you. Hey, watch it, buddy. We we're, were together, Romeo and Juliet, Cleopatra, and Mark Anthony. Uh, don't, don't they all die? I was dumped. She just called me over her phone, or seeing me. She just wasn't talking to me, or seeing me, ever. What's it to you, anyways? Mr. Buzz, we describe its general meaning when you say don't. In fact, she was clearly dependent on you and fortunately seeing any of that specimen. She was also returning to the overseas and wanted the good day for the murder. Uh, what do you mean, one of them? Lies. All lies. I don't believe any of that. Her, the victim's passport. According to this, she was in Paris until the day she died. Head to the record. Hmm. Indeed. She appears to have returned the day before the murder. Dude, no way. The victim is a black But does not have a large income. It appears that she had several sugar daddies. Daddy's sh sh sugar? Yes. And the men who give her money and gifts. She took her money and used it to support her lifestyle. Dude, we do clearly see what kind of woman this 
Mr. Stoneman. So tell me, Mr. Buzz, who do you think of her now? Right? I don't think you want him to answer that question. If Larry was away from his mouth, all the wrong directions, should I stop him from answering? Because I'm a good buddy. But my client has no idea what the victim has seen of the men. The question is irrelevant to the case. Oof, what is doing, Nick? We made a relevant. The general she dog. I'm gonna die. I'm just gonna drop dead. Yeah, and when I meet her in the afterlife, I'm gonna get to the bottom of this. Don't leave. Let's continue with the trial, shall we? I believe the accuser's mind is clear enough. Yes, quite. Oh boy, this is not looking good. Next question. You went to the victim's apartment on the day of the murder. Did you not? Go? Well. Did you, or did you not? Hey, what? Hey, hey. Well, maybe I did, and maybe I didn't. Uh oh, he, he what, what, what should I do? I have an answer, honestly. I know, I'll send this to Tell the truth. Uh, yeah, 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 I was there, I went. Ooh, this is gonna probably be bad. Order. Well, Mr. Buzz, do chill. She wasn't home, man. So I was like, I didn't see her. Objection. The defendant is lying. Lying. The prosecution would like to call a witness to prove Mr. Buzz is dead. Mr. Witness, the man who found the defendant's body just before making the discovery. Inside the defendant fleeing the scene of the crime. I know who he must be. He must be that purple man from the beginning. I think it's Purple Man. Order. Order in the court. Mr. Payne, the prosecution, may call its witness. Yes, Your Honor. Th this is bad. On the day of the murder, the witness was selling newspapers at the victim's building before Mr. Frank Stewart to the stand. Oh, he's a murderer. Guys, he's a murderer. Mr. Skizowitz, he sell newspapers subscriptions at the court? Yes, newspapers. Mr. Shawit. You must proceed with your testimony. Please tell us the court you saw the day of the murderer. He is the murderer. Okay, with this testimony. Okay, let's see what he says. I was going door to door. Selling subscriptions when I saw a man fleeing an apartment. I thought he must have been in a hurry because he left the door half open behind him. Um Okay, thinking it was strange, I looked inside the apartment. Then I saw her lying there. A woman. No moving. No, no moving. Dead. But the fire door found herself. I had to call the police immediately. However, the front of the apartment wasn't working. I went to the nearby park and found the police phone. I remember the time exactly. It was 1 p.m. The man was running without a doubt. The defendant didn't wait for there. So, two things that I found wrong with it. Number one, it was the phone. And number two, it was the timing. Because how would you know the exact timing of a murder? If you were about to call someone, Larry, why didn't you tell the truth? I can't defend you against a testimony like this. Incidentally, why wasn't the phone in the victim's apartment working? Your Honor, at the time of the murder, there was a blackout in the building. Aren't phones supposed to be working during a blackout? Yeah, yes, Your Honor, however, in some court, this phone is not functioning. But the phone I'm supposed to to use is one of those, Your Honor, had the record. Blackout for your procedures. Okay, let's read that. Okay, now, let's do it. Yes, er, uh, yes, Your Honor. You must begin the cross examination. Cro cross examination? Your Honor. Oh, right, right. This is it. The real deal. Uh, what am I supposed to do? Nice music? Why don't you expose the lies in this money? The witness just gave. Lies? What? He, he was lying? Who was lying? The client is innocent, in 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 right? I'm pretty sure, because I know at the beginning it was the purple man. I mean, the witness must have lied in this testimony. Pretty sure he must have lied. Everybody must have lied in the testimony. But no one's saying the truth. Or is your client really guilty? How do we prove he's not? You hold the key. It's in the evidence. Compared to when this testimony to the evidence at hand, there bound to be a contradiction in there. First, find contradictions between the court records. The witness testimony. Okay, I'll do that. First, witness, court. Okay, my piece of evidence, and then his 
people to his piece of evidence. Then you must find the evidence, present it, and rub it in his face. Okay, touch the cool button, point to the contradictions on screen. Okay, do it. Okay, witness account. Okay, so. Um, I was going door to door and selling subscriptions. I saw a man leaning from his apartment. Time of death. Around 4 p.m. Ooh. 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. That must be a good boy. Statue. I think it were rather heavy. The victim was apparently home at Prince Lee's at 7 before the dead of the murder. Electricity was in the building. Mm -hmm. Six. They have a crime. Okay. Apparently he was she was killed. She's believed to be killed. Uh four PM to five PM. Get back. You must go. I thought she must have been in a hurry because she left the door. He left the door. Strange, I locked the apartment door. Wait, what? It was strange. I looked inside the apartment. Why would he look inside the apartment? What, what gave you the idea to do that? Well, the door would half open, you see. Isn't it only humans want to do? Present? Please climb out and because they're there. Isn't it the same? True words have never been spoken. Anyone would look inside. Hmm. Okay. So you looked into the apartment. What happened then? Then some woman died there. Dead. Um, present. Time of death, call death. Not moving. No one would believe it. Okay, but carry this. Okay, the statue with the shape rather heavy. Okay, back, back. This is my blind playthrough. If you did, guys didn't know and didn't read the title, okay. Qualify the fragile one time. Find myself unable to go inside. Um, present passport. The victim apparently arrived at the home in Paris before the murder. Okay, I thought the color police immediately. Um, why would he call the police immediately? However, the phone in her apartment wasn't working. Present, um, blackout. Your Honor, what, what do you think about the witness statement? Um, I'm not sure I follow clearly or contradiction, uh, I thought. It don't sound very concise. Objection overruled. Don't you think that one man points to the judge? Okay, that's bad. I was working. Okay, found. In his apartment. A blunt tantrum. So wait, tantrums are... Okay, back. I went to the nearby park to find a public phone. Okay, so the phone wasn't working. And he went to the nearby park. I remember the time exactly. It was one... So I will set... Present. Yes. You found the body at 1 p.m. You're sure? Yes. It was 1 p.m. for certain. Frankly, I found it hard to believe. The statement directly contradicts the report. The absolutely the notes. The death was after 4 p.m. There was nobody to earn, no body to find at 1 p.m. How do you explain this three hour gap? Oh, that. Oh, er. This is a, this is a trivial. The witness merely forgot the time. After his testimony, I find it hard to believe. Mr. Stegowitz, why were you certain you found the body at 1 p.m.? I heard. Well, I... Gee, that's a really good question. Good job, right? Now put him on the spot. That's only what you have to do. Point out the contradictions. Lies always beg more lies. See through that one, and there's a whole story that falls apart. Okay. Wait, I remember now. Would you care to give your testimony again? The time of discovery. You see, when I found the body, I heard the time. There was a voice saying to me, saying the time. Probably coming from the television. No, it wasn't, because there was a blackout. Because the victim must have had a part of the program. No, because the power's out. Terribly sorry about the misunderstanding. Ooh. Hmm, I see. You heard of Ireland. The tape program. Mr. Green cross examine Yes, you know what to do. I got this one. 
in your face. See, when I found the bunny, I heard the time. The voice saying at the time it was probably coming from television. You know, the victim now. Noon. Present. Is the power outage? Hold it right there. The prosecution has said there was a blackout at the time of the discovery. And the record proves it. Uh, you turned that part of television or video. Gah! I, I will. Eric. The defense has a point. You have an explanation for this, Mr. Kibowitz? No. I, I find it quite puzzling myself. Quite. Uh -huh. Wait, wait, wait. I remember now. Let's do it. Court may prefer to hear the accurate testimony from the very beginning. The constant corrections are harming your credentials. Hey, and you see rather stressed. Hmm. My apologies, Your Honor. It's there. It must have been the shock of finding the body. Very well, Mr. Speaker. Let's hear your testimony. One more, please. I must use the body piece of evidence. I think hearing of the time. Actually, I didn't hear the time. I saw it. it was the apartment wasn't there. Yeah, the murder weapon. Killer used it to hit the victim. It must have been where I saw it. No, he didn't. He saw a clock. I guess that would explain it. The defense may cross him in the witness gladly. You idiot. You smart idiot. If you know. Okay, actually, I didn't hear the time. I saw it. The table clock. Table clock in the apartment wasn't there. Let's see. Let's see what you say. The statue of the true shape of the ticker. Lost the blunt tantrum. No passport. The victim appeared the day before the murder. What should I use? Weapons. Statue in the shape is rather heavy. Heavy, okay. Yeah, the murder weapon, the killer used it to hit the victim. No. Wait, should I present that? The witness statement is clearly functioning, Your Honor. Oh, I'm sorry, but I can't do nothing with your facilities. No! Fortunately, I'll have to penalize you. Dang it, don't penalize me. Oh, that must be on the wrong track. Um. Should I present that? Wait, just a moment. Finally, the murder weapon wasn't a clock. It was a statue. No one's supposed to be a clock. You, with your objections and evidence. Who do you think you are? Just answering the question, Mr. Stagold. Shall it? Dang it. However you pronounce it, right? Okay. Your Honor, if I may. Yes, Mr. Payne. It was the witness day this item is indeed a clock. The neck is a switch. You must tilt it in the thing. The button out loud. This is a matter of the clock. I submitted it as a statue, my apology. I see. So the murder weapon was a table clock, after all. Well, Mr. Wright, it appears that the witness testimony was correct. It was a clock. clock. Do you have any problems with this? This testimony now? Yes. Your Honor, there is a gas in the hole of the witness testimony. The only way he couldn't learn the weapon is the clock is to hold it in his hand. Yes, the witness testified that it never entered the apartment. Clearly a contradiction. Hmm. Indeed, the witness knew it was a clock because he went, went into the apartment because he knew the victim. Tell me, isn't it true that you knew the victim? In fact, you were one of her streamer then. Be frank with us, Mr. Scantlick. Hmm. Frank? I, I, I'm always frank. Your, your Honor, we have complete records of the victim's relationships. Mr. Frank Sowit does not appear anywhere. Uh, oh really? Please, Mr. Wright, is huh? Best response, you can mess it up. Try to refrain from making off off the cuff accusations in the future. Yes, Your Honor, let me take this over. The clock was, went into the apartment to the line. Inside the apartment in the day of the murder. Oh yeah, prove it, prove it. I'll do better than that. I can prove you were the only one who killed her. I feel so happy right now being able to get him. I struck her with the clock. And a shock. The blow triggered the clock voice. That was the sound you heard. 
an order in the court. Turn to me, please continue, Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Skizowitz, the town must have left quite an impression on you. Understandable, since the murder weapon spoke just as you hit the victim, the voice would burn into your mind. That's why you were so certain about the time. Mm -hmm. What was the meaning of this? This is all baseless conjecture. Baseless? Just look at the witness's face. Yeah. What, would the witness care to elaborate? Didn't you strike the victim with the clock? I... I... That... that uh, I, I never... Look. I... I... The clock. I heard now. I mean, I saw. I saw. He's bald. What? He, he's bald? Shut up, shut up, shut up, I hate you. I didn't know he had man boobs. And he was bald. It, it, it was him, I tell you, I saw him. He killed him, and he should burn, burn, give him death. You're just so angry for some reason. What an order in the court to say. Your Honor, a, a moment please. There's a shred of evidence pointing to the defendant's case. Mr. Wright, Your Honor, you claim that sound the witness heard from the clock. Do you have any evidence? The, the whole case is running on this. Let us think carefully. Yes, Your Honor. Sound the skid return was definitely this clock. In fact, this was clear. It was simply... Um... Just try sounding the clock. Let's try sounding the clock here. Your Honor, may I have the clock? Ask the court to listen very carefully. I think it's... 825. Certainly, it's a strange way to announce the time when he is the king after all. So we put the clock. What's your, what are the conclusions? Yeah, what are the conclusions, Mr. Wright? Mr. Payne, you tell me the time it is now. It's a 1125. Hack. As you can see, the clock is exactly three hours slow. Precisely the pick between what Mr. Solich heard and the actual time of the death. So, Talk your way out of this Ha <laughs> You've got one thing. And that one thing. Oh, what are you talking about? While it may seem like the clock is running through the air with snow, it proves nothing. How do you know it was running through the air with snow on the day of the murder? You can't prove that. Don't have a case. Well, the only case I have is a bald person being angry about something. <gasps> he, he's right. How about that? Damn it. So close. Mr. White, do you like critical evidence to support the claim? Yes, Your Honor. This means I cannot let you in the witness. Fortunately, this ends the cross examination. Mr. Frank Shawit. He comes all the way down to testify. Look what happens. I become bald and take off my shirt. They, they treat me like a criminal. Criminal and lawyers are all slime. Girl, I almost had him. Come on. Sorry, Larry. I failed you. There's nothing I can do about it now. If only not so fast, just go. In your face, my help, I mean cheap. It's not right. It's been done so no way. Not this thick. But chief, it's over. I can't prove the clock was slow with the day of the murder. Nobody can prove that. Um, well, yes. But that means we still wouldn't try to get outside the box. Don't waste some time down the track. Soon the clock was three hours slow and think through As you saw, why was the clock three hours slow? Figure out the reason and we'll have your proof. Right? Right? Can you think of a reason as of why? The clock was three hours slow, huh? Wait, maybe I can prove it. Must have yet been somewhere to prove it, right? Yes, I do. That paper that showed that she went to France. Well, Mr. Wright, said that the clock was already running slow the day of the murder. Have you found the evidence to support this claim? Of course, there's a piece of evidence in the court record that can prove my claim. <gasps> Tough 
work with the apolopism until the evidence that proves. Rain. No, that was so interesting. Yes! Best part presents in your face. The victim has just returned home from a broad day before the murder. As we know, the time difference between here and Paris is 9 hours. When it's 4 p.m. here, it's 1 a.m. the next day there. The clock was 3 hours slow, with 9 hours back. The victim had a recent clock since the line was home. That's why the time we heard when struggling her dead is her apartment. And her apartment was long. Well, no, seriously, look at this guy's breathing. Look at him. Look at him. Look at how bald he is. Look at his red eyes. God, proving up for you, Mr. Scarlet. Something I say, Mr. Did it. Yuck. Hulk smack. Whoa. How is this possible? What do I say? This case has certainly turned into differently than we thought. Mr. Payne, client. <laughs> if he was arrested, he'd take away, Your Honor. Very well, Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. Anything to say? I don't think I've ever seen someone complete the fence so Find the true culprit at the same time. Thank you, Your Honor. At this point, it's the formal, but the court finds the defendant Mr. Larry Butts. Not guilty. Yes. Yes, we won. We won. And that the court is adjourned. Yes. It turns out that Frank Charlotte was a common burglar. Was a newspaper salesman. Check and see when people are out of their house that day. When Larry went to the apartment, the victim wasn't home. After he left, Mr. Charlotte left his home to do his dirty work. While he was searching her place, the victim returned. Frustrated, Mr. Charlotte grabbed the news, blunt option to could find, and killed her. August 3rd, 2.32 p.m. Tristan Court. Defendant Lobby Number 2. And this has been Peter Steve's here with Part 1 of Phoenix Rights. Don't forget to like, comment, rate, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.